We're going to address relationship. Relationships are varied. There are endless, endless multitudes of expressions of relationship. Sometimes you may find in your tender human journey that you are having a relationship with yourself where you are running into judgment, self-judgment, disappointment, feeling let down, wishing you were different. And this is painful to the self because you are as you are and you are acceptable and lovable as you are and every human being is on the journey of learning and discovering and remembering. So there's the dynamic of relationship with self, how you hold yourself, perceive yourself, and relate to yourself. Then there is the dynamic of you and another. Sometimes in the human embodiment, you look to another to fill your needs. There's an ache, a hunger, a longing, a wishing for, an if only. And you project outward to the other, whomever that may be. Could be a romantic partner, could be child, parent, could be a business relationship. <clears throat> the relationship itself does not matter. It is the habit of looking outside self to try and source your needs from another. And this is the mistake that causes suffering in relationships. This is not to say that you cannot enjoy the beautiful gifts, the treasures that come to you from others as a gift of love. It is to say that the need to have yourself filled up is not someone else's responsibility ever, ever. It is always the responsibility, the ability to respond by your divine. So when you are feeling lack, when you are wishing that your, let's say, partner could be more this way or that way, that is the time for you to practice humility and to go to your source and ask source, I have a hunger here. I have a need that I feel is not being met and I am thirsty. Can you quench my thirst spirit? Can you show me how to feel this love I am hungering for? Can you fill me with the radiant love of fulfillment that I may walk as a full chalice filled up and spilling over? And in the spilling over, then you are cascading your gifts of love upon others. And so you see, in the human embodiment, you are here to be the conduit or the channel from heaven to earth and earth to heaven. And your heart chamber is the place of infinity where these energies emerge and collect and fill you first and then spill out to other people.